Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update. First thing, just in case I don't get this up beforehand, uh, we did do a little demo for Drop Zone Commander uh, with some rules and whatnot. Is there even anything to show? All right, we're over here in receiving, and we got in a package full of Infinity. So we are filling a ton of our Infinity orders. And in fact, let's just pull out a few items here. Zalamandra Squadron. Oh, that is a piece of candy. Absolute candy. This makes me happy inside. An Aleph uh, battle group. Also, uh, Dave Lewis from Hawk War Games took some pictures while he was up at Valhalla. And these are like prof professional grade. These are signed and dated. So we are, we are going to get these framed up just as soon as we can. Uh, this is a place called Bridal Veil vale Fall. This actually looks small. This is huge. This is like, you know, maybe 200 feet up. So a nice little note. How considerate. I just love it when people are kind and they put uh, positive and good things out into the world. So good for you, Dave. You are a creator. My congratulations go out to you. Let's look at this one. So there's that. How a piece of scrub can be so beautiful. Yeah, autumn at Valhalla is insane. Uh, got an email from uh, Mini Wargaming Dave this morning, and he is uh, wanting to get his group up there in Moss next year. So we're, we're in talks for that. And um, also, hey Sarah, welcome back. How was Feast of Blades? It was really fun. We had a great time. We met so many cool people, and uh, we had a great, it was a good turnout. It was just fun. It was a great time. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, they, they told me all about it this morning. I'll get Thomas to to um, give, uh, give some more details. So uh, also we are uh, very much full steam ahead on all of our projects. Uh, each one is in whatever the various stage is of its progress. Well, I guess that's not really saying much, is it? Hey guys, I'm camera ambushing you. No! How was, you know what, I'm gonna, t where's Ben one? He had to delete his girls to go to the doctor. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't, I didn't mean to pry into Ben's personal life. Okay, guys, so talk to me about Feast of Blades. Yeah, it was a blast. It was delicious. It was a delicious feast. It was, no, it was, it was quite a good time. Pretty good community there. Uh, all the vendors were super friendly. Uh, pretty I'd, intense tournament. Lots of yeah, so what, uh, how many people were in, uh, in the tournament? The invitationals. I want to say it was somewhere like 80, but there might now, be. You have to qualify. You can't you just buy a yeah. ticket and walk you in. To, well, you have to buy a ticket, but you have to qualify first at, a, right. at some other event. Because so, we, we did a couple of those, didn't we? We did. We did one, yeah. We so did how do you qualify to get in? You have to be one of the top two, maybe top two or top three people in one of the qualifying tournaments. Okay. And then you're allowed to buy a ticket to the Invitational, but then they only have 100 spots open for the Invitational, too. So you have to uh, get to buy it pretty quickly too. So that's a pretty select know. group. The uh, the Feast of Blade guys were actually they were all really really cool. So it was just an awesome event. Like if any of any of them are watching, I want to say thanks for having us for sure. And yeah, we're, we're planning on coming out. We, yeah, they uh, wanted us to come back. Yeah. So we uh, we met this morning and we're talking about our events for next year, which we need to plan like way better. Um, and fund them in advance. Uh, and it's going to be Gen Con, Adepticon, and Feast of Blades. It's going to be nice. our three major things. And if there's time and money left over, we'll go to other things as well. We, we want to go to like 12 events a year. So anyway, um, you're working on some Corsairs, Eldar Corsairs from yes, Forge World. this is what they... Right? Is yeah, it won't show up on my LDTV oh. here. Cool, yeah. So, but I'll, I'll come back and hopefully take a look at it. And you're working on some dwarven war machines yep. from various ranges. Yep. So off we go. Thank you. All right, Roberto. How's it going? Justify yourself. Tell me what you're doing. I am working on some dystopian wars, mainly a Prussian Empire. So we have oh, the fantastic uh, Imperium class Sky Fortress. Like a uh, aircraft carrier. Yeah, and it's going to be really sit cool. on this clear acrylic base. All right. Client says keep clear. Well, I put there. that note there. Oh, did you? Just in case. Right. Oh, no, you... So, and it comes with all these little flyers. Sorry. 
but a ton of these, like three airplane right. little pieces, and I'm assuming they just you know take off from here and just scatter from right. the ship. That's fantastic. All right, thanks. So, not very far into the I saw project, a so. scorn big guy earlier. Did that guy oh. go away? That is just right over here. All right, fantastic. Off, so it'll be easier to paint. That is awesome. And I look at this and I'm like, how can I incorporate that into Warhammer Fantasy? <laughs> and I got, I got nothing. I can't think of anything. Lizard Maybe a men? Hydra? Yeah, Lizard Men. Yeah. Because they already have but their they're, Stegodons. Their Stegodons are already pretty cool. So, But I don't know. Yeah, that, that would actually could be Aztec. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's, that's a good one, too. Yeah, so uh, the watchword among the artists is be cynical. <laughs> which is, don't, don't trust anything you see and just uh, be careful of uh, ambiguities. Um, so anyway, all right, Josh. Oh, look at these thousand suns. Oh, I'm going to get those under the lights. They look pretty cool. That is super, supremely amazingly converted. And good turnaround, too. Yeah, good job, Roberto. Here's some odd like 50, 72 millimeter 90, figures, like 90 science. millimeter. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that, that's great. So those are about four inches tall. Yeah. All right. We come now to pod two, the famous pod two. Now, now you know, now you know what it's like. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. No way. Ben, okay. Oh, no way. Right <laughs> oh, no way. Cause you know, you never know. You never know what good thing you got till it's gone. <laughs> and because I'm like, oh, that goblin is such an eyesore. I just want it gone. Every time I go by, I like take it down and set it face down on Mason's desk. The eternal struggle. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So where's Mason? Uh, he Mason. is fixing the tire. Oh, the yeah. Okay. It, uh, you guys, you. you guys got to hear this story. So, yeah. So that orc wagon van of masons he parks it in the most visible place possible <laughs> in the parking lot after he blows his front tire so i'm like so for weeks i'm like when are you moving that it's an eyesore you got to gimp it around back he's like i don't want to ruin the rims sean and i'm like um yeah and so he keeps saying next monday but it's always next Monday that he's going to do it. So I guess I guess he finally got around to it. All right, what are you guys working on? Doing some steampunk Imperial Guard and oh, this is awesome. Look at yeah, that. It's like a, we need to see that. What is this? Is this like a uh, Dread Knight? Uh, no, 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 it's, it's Inquisitor Dread Knight? Karamazov on the Throne of Judgment. Oh, that's Hall fantastic. Hall yeah. I love that. That Jason is really clever. That. Yeah. It's got some uh, AT-43. No, it's got some uh, Dust Tactics. No, I think on it's it. the AT, What's this? It's, is yeah, it the chassis yeah. here? Okay, yeah. my bad then. All right, that's fantastic. Uh, clad yeah, we won't be able to. Okay. Especially from behind, he's kind of <laughs> nice. So. Thanks. Uh, fortunately, I'm an LD today, so you won't really be able to see <laughs> oh, it. Oh, bummer. The, the, so we'll keep it PG. We, we don't have to blur it out. <laughs> the whole the page is blurred out. <laughs> Karen, I really got to uh, compliment you on the amazing Malifaux stuff you've been oh, good. producing. It's really great. To do. I love them. All right, that's good. All right, uh, so you're working on some Imperial Guard. Yeah, I'm working this on this. This is the one where we, where we were. Where we were where, where, uh, uh, I just invented a new language. Yeah. It's. Um, I've been known to do that from time to time. Uh, it um, was missing the battle forces, mm -hmm. right? This is that one. So now yeah. that's underway. And we had a. All right, fantastic. We pretty much to choose what we wanted to do. And I always like like the tanks to look battle worn. Yeah. So I just kind of. Oh, like so you, you really got artistic license? Yeah. Right. You really can't see with the camera, but it's got right. a green watch over it, so you can still kind of see the rust under it. And these are getting like a dry brush of, of metal to make it look like, yeah, they've a been through some up. stuff. Okay, great. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, Captain. Yep.